thank you very much uh, for offering me the honor and the pleasure to be here with uh, you today. My name is Lucica Dizio. I'm the executive director of the Stop TB partnership located in Geneva. I want to thank you, uh, Bobby, for uh, pushing forward this session uh, on tuberculosis uh, coming in the very right time. And I want to thank uh, Ms. Kalpana for facilitating it. Uh, I know uh, we heard about you here in Geneva, uh, about uh, what an awesome journalist uh, you are. And obviously, I'm uh, extremely honored and privileged to be in this panel with so many amazing and distinguished uh, uh, colleagues, friends, but also, uh, uh, you know, with the additional secretary from the Ministry of Health and Population, as well as the director of the National TB Control Program in Nepal, Dr. Prajvol. Uh, my friend, uh, Dr. Ashish uh, from the Save the Children, uh, uh, our friends from the National Youth Movement Against uh, uh, TB, the National TB Association, uh, and, and the National Nepal Anti-TB Association, as well as the uh, Asia-Pacific uh, Cities Alliance for Health and Development. I left, uh, I allowed the, the, the last one to be my friend from the World Biodiagnostics, Mr. Mitra. Uh, I think it's a great panel here. Uh, and I am the one that uh, I will make uh, the least uh, 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 contribution to say so, because everybody in this panel is bringing a different perspective uh, that uh, I hope we'll unpack uh, and we'll discuss this issue around the inequity and the need to end the inequities if we really are hoping to end uh, tuberculosis and uh, also reaching health for all. Tuberculosis is a disease, as we all know, that affects uh, people that are having a lot of vulnerabilities uh, that are, uh, even though they are maybe from the countries uh, with uh, high income, uh, people uh, with TB are those that are, are either poor, either uh, from the villages, from indigenous population, different sexual or gender minorities, and so on and so on. And for too long in the TB response, we allowed inequities to be there, uh, even coming from the guidelines that we used to have for those of us uh, longer in the TB response. We know that late 90s, uh, even early 2000, uh, treatment of drug-resistant TB or MDR-TB uh, of children was not considered as part, uh, as part of that famous package of DOTS, if you recall, right? But that was uh, a, a recommendation uh, for the countries uh, from the big south, from the lower income countries, while in the in the higher income countries, uh, drug resistant TB, childhood TB, extra pulmonary TB was being treated and being considered for a long time. Uh, it started with that. It starts with the fact that um, uh, you cannot have double standards. You cannot allow, we cannot allow uh, that uh, uh, there is a, a treatment or a diagnostic recommendation in one part of the world or for certain categories and a different one for the others. Things changed. Uh, but uh, things changed in terms of that, but at country level and uh, at sub-national level as well, as you know, there are huge inequalities. And, um, uh, you know, we are all uh, putting in place interventions to reach people with TB. And the ones that are reachable are people like us. You know, we know where to go. We don't have uh, vulnerabilities. Uh, you know, we have connections. We have money. We have an income. We, you know. Uh, the ones that are difficult to reach are uh, the ones that we should focus because uh, they are the ones that uh, are making the difference. And they are the ones that are always left behind. But you see, it's not very easy because um, this, uh, you know, finding and putting everyone on diagnosis and treatment for TB, including prevention, securing access to the health services for all, as all want and we all dream, request an extra mile when you look at vulnerable uh, groups, when you look at people with whatever uh, vulnerability they have, you know? Uh, the, the, the process is put in place to find uh, the big majority of people need to be, uh, to go uh, far and above uh, for the people with a vulnerability. You need to make that extra mile. You need to make that extra step. Uh, when I used to be a, a medical doctor in Romania, we were uh, covering an area that had, among other, uh, a large uh, community of uh, uh, gypsies. Uh, and uh, it was uh, 
very uh, strange for my team and my colleagues, even though we were same generation and we learned in the same time, my push uh, to really go in the community and uh, discuss and embrace and uh, convince people to come for diagnosis, for checkup, for treatment. It was always this idea, we have to sit and wait and they will come if they are very sick. And that never goes anywhere in anything, you know? So as medical uh, doctors and professions, we need to understand that the answer to TB is by securing for everybody the same access. And for securing that, we will not be able to create the processes and the systems to embrace everybody unless we listen to the ones we serve. So that's why ending inequity is a, an issue that can be addressed by uh, public health authorities, but it should go hand in hand with the civil society and communities with other parts of the, so uh, of the society. I'm very happy that there are uh, uh, cities alliance here colleagues because in the level of the cities, there are pockets of, in which different people with different vulnerabilities can be reached and identified and uh, you know uh, sec secure their access for services. Uh, we all dream of universal health coverage. We all dream of health for all. Tuberculosis is the best metric that we can have in reaching health for all and universal health coverage. Because people with TB, as I said, come from vulnerable groups. The moment we don't have inequity, the moment we are able to find the people with TB, we will be able to say we reach that for all and universal health coverage. And all of this is always a, a way towards ending TB. We know that is possible. We know that we have a target to do it by 2030. We request the attention and we request this entire package to, to, to reach the people in biggest need. In September 2023, the UN high-level meeting issued a political declaration that speaks about ending the inequities in TB, that speaks about ending stigma in TB, that speaks about diagnosing, treating, and offering prevention and care to all people with TB that are needing it. Um, I will stop here. I hope the panel will be an amazing one. Um, I am very honored that uh, I had this opportunity to speak with you, and uh, I... Uh, I hope that we remain in touch. Uh, for us, uh, Nepal is close to our heart, and uh, we hope that uh, we can push forward the agenda together. Thank you very much.